All right, 3.1e, the last of it. Okay? So, what do you think we do here? Besides cry, what do you think you do here? Foil, exactly. But we get rid of our negatives first. Now, what's the cosine of negative x? Cosine of x. So it's 1 plus cosine of x, 1 minus cosine of x. So if we boil, 1 times 1 is 1. Outers is negative cosine. Inners is positive <laughs> cosine. They're conjugate pairs, so the middle terms cancel. And cosine times cosine is cosine squared of x. What's 1 minus cosine squared equal to? Sine squared of x. Mm -hmm. What would I do if I had 1 plus sine of negative x times 1 plus sine of x? Get rid of the negative. So it's 1 minus sine of x times 1 plus sine of x. 1 times 1 is 1. Outers and inners are going to? Cancel. Sine times sine is? Sine squared of x. 1 minus sine squared of x is? Cosine squared of x. When you see a fraction with sines and cosines, sometimes you have to think outside the box a little bit. Now, um, more than one way to do this. We could get a common denominator, or thinking outside the box, what's 1 over sine the same as? Cosecant squared of x. Do we have a Pythagorean identity that's like that? Well, I know that cotangent squared of x plus 1 equals cosecant squared of x. So what would this equal? Not cotangent squared. You're close. Negative cotangent squared of x. Because if we subtract cosecant to get to this side and we subtract cotangent to get to that side, 1 minus cosecant squared would be negative cotangent squared. Okay? Negative cotangent squared. Now, if we were told to put it in terms of sines and cosines, it would be negative cosine squared of x over sine squared of x. All right. Hmm. What can we do? Subtract. Can't subtract. They're not like term like powers. 
but we can factor. We can take out a cosine squared of x and what's left on the inside? Cosine squared of x minus 1. Come on, factoring rules, algebra 2. That was a long time ago. Some people are still presently in algebra 2. What's cosine squared of x minus 1 the same as? Nope. Negative sine squared of x. What's cosecant the same as? 1 over sine of x, right? Now I got a complex fraction going on, don't I? So what do I do to the top and bottom? Multiply by sine of x. So the negative comes up front. And I get negative cosine squared of x sine to the third power of x. Okay, so you're going to have a few problems that look similar to this today for next time as well. So your last assignment over on page 165, you've had five assignments just on that one page. Last assignment is 35 through 38 all, and then 61 through 64 all. Oh, did I say through 36 on the last assignment? Yeah. Well, then, this is 37 and 38 all, and 61 through 64 all, then. Sure, sounds good.